What really happens when you talk to an insurance company after a car wreck? I'll tell you what happens. The insurance company is going to make things as hard as they possibly can for you. Like denying your claim. <laughs> no, we won't. Like that, all they do is say no. Uh-uh, we don't always say no. Sometimes we say yes, but, and, well. And that, my friends, brings us to the runaround. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Oh, by the way, did I mention I needed a reported statement? I do. It's fine if you say no, but there's a whole chapter in our training manual on how to manage that, and it's not pretty. Sometimes the insurance reps just keep saying the same thing over and over, or change the rules halfway through. We never try to confuse people on purpose. Oh, by the way, you've implemented new training and claim denial. I mean, processing guidelines. Tell you what, I'll mail you a hard copy of the new procedures. Then you can call me back in a month on our new intake system, or you'll probably never, ever, ever speak directly to a human again. And we'll pick up where we left off. Maybe fun. It's like they really don't want to help at all. But we can. See, insurance companies are all about making money. To make that happen, we'll do almost anything to make you give up, whether that's by denying your claim a thousand times, piling on the paperwork, or simply giving you the runaround. Our entire goal is to outlast you so that you get nothing. We love our jobs. What they don't love is when you hire a lawyer because that means they're in for a fight. It means you'll have someone on your side working to get you what you really need and deserve. So hire a lawyer, because we love our jobs too.